Are bananas radioactive? Well, I think the answer is no. <laughs> They're no more radioactive than anything else in our environment. But there's something quite interesting about background radioactivity. Here in France, it's about 20 counts per minute, 0.12 or 13 microsieverts per hour, which is pretty low on planet Earth. So it made me want to think, what was the most radioactive thing I had in my house? Well, let me tell you a story. I'm making these, which are flywheels for model steam engines. And the other day, we went to this place. It's a scrapyard in France. And we found this. <laughs> it's a lump of extremely dense brass looking material but it weighs way more than brass and when I looked at it really carefully and I'll show you a close-up of what it says it clearly says depleted uranium aluminium 10 nickel 5 iron or fe4 with a lot number one nine zero three seven four zero zero six one what is this mysterious stuff so of course <laughs> i got my handy geiger counter to test it and it's not radioactive way i'm very pleased it's exactly the same near the Geiger counter as the background level in my house in France. So the mystery is, what is this mysterious substance? Well, it turned out to be, it's an exotic and very expensive alloy. What happened is I put this lump in my lathe to clean it up and I took a skim cut across the back, removing the letter C with the lathe accidentally. So it's actually copper, aluminium, nickel, iron. Copper, aluminium, nickel, iron is a bearing material, which is used in the aerospace industry. Uh, it's used by submarines because it's very um, uh, resistant to seawater, hot and cold. And probably it was ended up in the scrapyard here in France because it's used by the water utility company for making bearings in underground valves in the water distribution system. The good news is it's amazing material. It's very hard, very dense, and very expensive. The guy at the scrapyard pulled it out and said, ooh, ooh la la, and called it laiton, well, brass, and said, Leitong at the scrapyard was four euros a kilogram. And he said it was one kilogram. I think it's their basic unit, really. I think it's a bit less than a kilogram. But he said it will cost you four euros. <laughs> oh, my God. I went, oh, that's okay. Four euros for a lump of brass is not so bad. But now that we know what it really is, and looking it up online... This amazing stuff, which is not radioactive, sells for six to seven hundred euros a kilogram and was probably made originally in a foundry and in a super alloy foundry here in France. So win-win and not radioactive neither. 
is a banana. I didn't know that.